Hello, in this video we're going to talk about sanitizing output. So this is used when you have collected some information from users and you want to display that information. So in a previous example we talked about how to sanitize input, as so the kind of things you're putting into a database. Now I'm going to show you some of the threats going the other way. So I'm keeping this very simple. So imagine if, uh, like, let's say that it's a comment section of a website and you're asking them to give you some input. Well, I mean, oftentimes you expect text, but what if, what if what they give you is something like this and it looks like a link? Now, you might not think that that seems terribly malicious, but really users can use this to do things like create backlinks to their website. And so, right, if the user gave me that and I displayed it, I would get this. And who knows where that links me to, right? Maybe it's... Maybe it's a very maybe it's a malicious website. Maybe it's not. But if I wanted to stop users from doing things like that, or even worse, so they could maybe put in script tags and and embed some JavaScript on my page, the way that you can stop that is by using a pretty simple function called HTML entities. There are other functions which can do this, but I'm just using this one. So there's all kinds of functions you can use to strip tags, which is what this is all about. So if you're expecting input from a user you're probably not expecting anchor tags or any other tag, right? You're not expecting style tags, nothing like that. So if, if you run it through a function like this and then you display the results, you'll get something like that, right? And so that's the same information, but notice it's no longer a live link. And that's pretty important. If I view the page source, you'll see it protects it by doing that. So rather than having like a left angle bracket, it replaces it with the special HTML code. So as far as the content, uh, we're not losing any of it. We're just changing the way that it gets represented. Because in reality, you can store that as either a left angle bracket or you can store it as ampersand LT, right, a semicolon. So it's just uh, changing the way that the data is represented. And so this is useful when you are displaying information in a browser and you want to eliminate potentially harmful tags. There's other ways of doing this, but uh, the, the, the greater context here is just understanding that if you're going to have some dynamic content, you're going to display it on a user's screen, you should take some precautions to ensure that you're protecting against some malicious tags. So hopefully that helps you to better understand uh, sanitization of output. Thanks for watching.